Let me bring Ben in. By the way, Ben, if you would just pipe down while we're talking here. Uh, what is your sense of whether this just ruined all this nastiness? Well, the $2 trillion number you cited at the beginning is a completely made-up number. I have no idea where you got it. Second no, thing it's is the not fact a made-up number. It's a completely, we, ma it's we a completely for, made-up number. No, 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 Ben. It's a completely made-up no, number. No, it's not. We asked for projections from what the Federal Reserve, in terms of backstopping with monies available for the financial system, and what the Treasury uh, allocated in, in the bailout rescue. Well, that's a, it's a completely made-up number. I mean, the, the real number. Well, what do you think it is? What do you think it is? The fact, the closer to three hundred billion, but the, the oh, fact, the, the no, fact no, 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 Ben, no, I got to stop you there. Ben, up no, 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 Ben. It's a completely say, made-up oh, number. Oh, oh, well, ben, I, can, can ben, I answer every, your question? No, no, Ben. When you are supporting one institution after another and backing up, and the Fed backs it up. It might be just backed up with ether, but that is money that is backing up institutions. It hasn't been spent, and, uh, and, and at any given time, you could say, well, what's the liability of the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation? And that would be in the trillions, too. The fact is that you are giving, doing the classic post hoc ergo propter hoc fallacy. You might as well say, because there was a World Series, the market dropped 4,000 points. The federal government has to stabilize this economy. No, There's it no doesn't, one else Ben. No, the, uh, and by yes, the way, we were pre hocking yes, on this. We were yes, pre hocking yes, on this. You have <laughs> My the federal point, government is the only one no, that can stabilize no, this it economy. Is not. It is yes, a slippery it is. Well, then, slope, Ben. Then, 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 then otherwise, we fall into a Great Depression. Maybe not a problem for you, but a problem oh, for everybody ben, else. Oh, stop the nonsense. My point is, it is, is that a you nonsense. call it ben. It is a nonsense. Where do you the fact draw, is we ben? went into a real depression. Not, where, we went into a real depression because the government didn't bail us out. No, we went into a real depression. Stop it. Where do you draw the nonsense? We went into a real depression because the government didn't help in 1929 to 33 in a meaningful way. So we go the other way, Ben? We go in for as much a federal stimulus as it takes to keep us out of a great depression. That ben, is if basic you can't common see sense. what hell hath wrought here with the theory of these financial of that. markets. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the And you're so convinced of it. You are so convinced. Ben, we have committed money to rescuing one Badger it's bank and even, financial and and we've got industry. to commit even more. And we've got to commit even more. This economy is you in rock and shape. Ridiculous. 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 I want to close off on a point with you, and then we're going to have more in this. Thing. If we are to feel guilty for the fact, as Ben Bernanke says, the government didn't do enough before uh, the last depression, we overcompensate, and now we seem to be doing everything. We haven't throwing... overcompensated, with ben, all due respect. I don't know we what you mean. We, we, you know what, Ben? I couldn't companies. pay my dinner bill the other night. I sent it to Nancy Pelosi because you, they're paying everyone else okay, off. No, you, we need to bail out the auto companies. We need to have a massive stimulus right package. On. This economy uh, is about to fall off a cliff. Yeah. We need It's already falling off a cliff, now. though, the, Ben. I don't understand. Like if, we, if, we, if we bail out the auto companies, why we we just going to prolong the inevitable. We no, did nothing. It it we did nothing in 29, Ben. Being hungry. We made a mistake in 29. We made a mistake with Lehman Brothers. And the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. So that's what we're doing now. Swinging, no. But doing it over and over again means bailing out these companies and letting them keep going. And, doing, them and, and going, the other way, going the other way and spending like crazy will somehow get us over the guilt we've it experienced will. for the yeah. depression. It's not, it's not it's guilt. Not it's guilt. keeping it's people alive. It's saving the economy. It's keeping people alive, Neil. It, keeping is, people alive. it is fake life support, Ben, and you're one of the smartest guys I know. If you can't see through the fake I'm life sure support that we I provided, look it what's happened to these financial support. institutions. It's not fake life support. It's real life support. No, here's and the real, real facts. Lives. Here's these the real, real fact from this safe. fakery, Ben. The stocks have cratered. The lending hasn't budged. These institutions are on the same precipice they were, if not it worse. It hasn't And this worked. is after help. This is after help. Because there hasn't God been forbid, enough help. God forbid if we didn't raise a finger. There hasn't been enough help. Nowhere near enough, con considering the magnitude of the Oh, my of God. Ben, Ben, now since the times you've gone full, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we're going to take a quick break here. Democratic leaders giving the big three CEOs a lifeline.